Hi everyone, it's Simon Keeling here at weatherweb.net. It's Wednesday the 3rd of September. Thanks again for watching. Um, still got some question marks over what happens this weekend. I was telling you that we're having some real old humdingers in the office here uh, about how things will develop during the course of this weekend. And I think showers look as if they are going to be on the cards. Let's just uh, run through the charts. First of all, I'll show you what the problem we have. Um, if you look on internet weather sites at the moment, you'll see that most of them will be talking about uh, how, we dry, how we've got dry weather coming up uh, for the foreseeable future really. But what they're missing is the upper end. Now this is the ECMWF and um, what's notice here, look, this is the chart, uh, actually not that one. <laughs> what am I doing? Let's, uh, let's just get a grip and get back to the start and there we go. Okay, so what it's got on here is a ridge look through the course of today. What I want you to watch is notice the time up here in the top corner there. So that was midnight last night. That's the forecast for midnight tonight. That's the forecast for midnight going into Friday. Now, watch this little feature here and just watch what happens to that. This is Saturday and that is Sunday. You see that little cold pool across the country there, that central low heights? Well, that is going to be producing uh, showers. And um, some of those showers, um, because of that, basically, it's uh, producing, let me just give it that blue, there we go, it's one of those days. Um, th it will be producing, allowing some showers to develop. Now, some of those showers are gonna be quite heavy, and it's just interesting to monitor the progress of that cold pull look. You see, it just drifts its way eastwards, heading into next week, eventually clearing off into uh, Norway. And then it uh, kind of just clears us into, um, back into the ridge look building again as we head uh, into the middle part of next week. Now that's the ECMWF, but what I want to show you is the Canadian as well. Let's just zoom in on these charts a little bit. Okay, so this is the Canadian. These go forward in 12 hour steps. Again, notice the time up here in the uh, top right hand corner there. And uh, what to notice as we head on through the sequence here, okay, is the high clearing away towards the east. Look, here's our little cold pool, our little centre of low heights. Look, coming down the North Sea here. Now then, watch what happens. That's midday Saturday, that's midday Sunday, and that's Monday, and that's Tuesday. You notice how much slower it is clearing away towards the east. Now, I actually think the Canadians might have got this. They were the first ones, it was the first model to pick up this idea of the cold pool coming south during the course of this weekend. And I think that this model has handled this situation pretty well, really. And then it brings us back looking to more of a westerly during the course of next week. And it brings outbreaks of rain to Scotland, to Ireland, to Northwest England, but keeps most of southern parts of uh, the UK generally dry. Now, what do I, th why do I mean that it's handled things better? Why do I say that? Well, look at the sea surface temperature anomalies. And let me just zoom in on these a little bit for you. Let's uh, go across to here, okay? There's the British Charles look. You notice how warm the water is around the UK. Been telling about this for some time as well. Now, what that does is, as soon as we get one of these cold pools coming down into that warm water, and it's been happening all uh, summer. Let's just get back to that cold pool. There we go. So as soon as they get into an area of warmer water, you're able to generate a lot of convection around that system. So you get these surface areas of low pressure forming. And the reason for it is really quite simple because when you've got warm water at the surface such as this, you've got cooler air aloft, you get big shower clouds forming, you get areas of rain. So I think what this is hinting at, and I don't think we've actually um, finalised this one just yet. I don't think this one could be pinned down too much in terms of detail, but what it will do is create an area of showers and instability through the weekend. I think getting worse through the course of the weekend and into the early part of next week. And the models trying look to build this ridge back in. I think even the Canadian is a little bit quick on building that ridge back in because I do think there's a chance that this trough and this trough could well link together through here and we may actually get a situation where um, we get uh, lower pressure than we're expecting. You see, it shows a link of sorts, but then it tries to build the ridge back in during next week. I'm just wondering if that link is gonna be more through here and if things are gonna be more unsettled. Remember me telling you all the way through about this high that I thought this high was gonna be 
a four or a five day wonder. Well, it's lasted longer or is expected to last longer than perhaps I thought. But this idea of, uh, I mean, effectively, it's only been Monday for most, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday for most as well. That's four days that have been completely dry across the country. I always said it was going to be a messy, messy high, and I thought it would break down mid-month and go more and settle before things improve again after about the 20th. And at the moment, I'm sticking with those ideas, but I think we're getting very, very little guidance coming in at the moment from the various different models. I'll give you more information on that again tomorrow. CFS not dealing with this one very well either. So be interesting to see how the updates deal with it during the course of tomorrow. But I'll, I'm going to leave you with that for now. Um, just a reminder that weatherweb.net is kept completely free of charge by you keep on coming back and using the site. By doing that, it means we can put more adverts in front of you. That's what generates the revenue that keeps the site completely free of charge. So thank you again for doing that. Please do continue to tell your friends about us. And once again, thanks for watching. Whatever you're doing, have a great day and keep the sun shining. Bye for now.